It's time now for perspective. In this post-truth era of fake news and growing distrust of the establishment, just how stable is the West's established order? And as populist right-wing parties gain supporters across Europe, how much attention should we be paying to the lessons of the early 20th century? My guest today is French historian and author Diane Ducret, who's just published her latest novel, La Dictatrice. Uh, that's the dictator in English, but crucially, uh, a female dictator. Thank you very much indeed for coming on to speak to us here at France 24. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So could you start by telling us, without giving too much away, uh, about the overview of your plot? What's your book about? My book is about, um, first of all, we are in 2023 and... Europe has been turned down after Brexit, after the rise, as you said, about populism and nationalism, after like the far-right controversy in Germany or in many Eastern Europe countries. And it's about a female journalist. She used to be a war journalist. She has been injured in Iraq and she has post-traumatic syndrome, but thus she She's angry about what she sees in Europe. Uh, in Paris, every weekend, there are a lot of strikes, a lot of violence. And despite this rise of violence, uh, she wants to make herself heard, let's say. And one day, she will take a stone and will throw it at the face of one of the ministers of Europe that voted for the turndown of Europe. And she goes to prison, of course. But as social media today exists, she will begin to be a star in the second, and she will become the first female dictator of, of our history. Now, the protagonist of your book, the dictator, the female dictator in question, uh, is called Aurore Henri. Uh, she was born exactly a century after Adolf Hitler. Uh, she also shares his initials. Um, you're inviting readers to draw a very direct parallel between the two. Yes, what I liked in, with this novel is that with history you can draw the past, with fiction you can draw the future. I wanted for this time um, to mix both, actually, and to invent in the near future Europe uh, to invite the past and with this female dictator, yes, um, to bring back, let's say, the fear of the Second World War and the Hitler development and rise to power. And she actually has more than just his initials. Unfortunately, some of the, her speeches are directly inspired from Hitler's speeches. I, I change only a few words and many readers, unfortunately, tell me Oh, finally someone will get what happens to your Europe. Finally someone we would like to hear more. And it's actually frightening because I think our, the time we're living in is actually ready for populism and for maybe a totalitarianism once again. So would you define your latest book as a work of dystopian fiction? Well, unfortunately, it's not that dystopian because uh, it could definitely happen today. When you see that, I, I began to write the book two years ago and the Gilets jaunes, the Yellow West movement, was not there yet. The Brexit was not there yet. Thus, it's the, book, the beginning of the book is about the Yellow West movement, um, the Brexit, the fires um, in let's say not Australia, but it was in Spain in my book because of climate change, because of economical crisis. Um, definitely, it's not that dystopian. It is sadly contemporary. Yeah. So it's important for you that readers really see things that look familiar to them in this book, that it feels like a world that we inhabit. It definitely feels like it. <laughs> but I hope it won't feel like it tomorrow because once Europe does not exist anymore, um, you know, there is a lot with the rise of immigration and insecurity and also uh, pauperization over Europe and over France. Moreover, uh, many people ask for the, 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 the end of Europe, the European Union. But I wanted to know, OK, if that tomorrow happens, what is going to happen to us? Would we have a voice at the UN? Would we have a voice in the Concert of Nations? Uh, would Russia still consider us as a partner and will send energy to us? Would the Arabs still sell oil to us? Or will favorise maybe United States of China, our better clients, that will still have the, the, the way to pay for it? Um, we, we, we tend to be very dependent energic, energically and also um, in terms of food. Uh, so I don't know what will happen, but I think the end of the European dream could be the end of uh, a lot of light for us. Now, the dictator in your book is la dictatrice. She's a woman. How important was it for you to have this character be a woman? 
Well, this is actually the main core of the book, the main subject of the book. Like, can a woman be a dictator as a man? Um, my first book, uh, 10 years ago already, almost, um, was about dictators' wives. Uh, it has been translated in 25 languages. And I wonder, like today, who would be the dictator's wives? Uh, who would be the women uh, in the shadow um, acting behind the great dictators? And I thought there won't be any female dictator, any dictator's wife. It will be a female dictator today because women rose to power. And we always thought that um, the world would be a better place while, when, when women would rule it. Um, and I thought, is that feminist or anti-feminist to say so? Because if we think women are equal, the, uh, equal for men, they should be equal even in the possibility to be bad rulers, even in the possibility to be dictatorial, to be violent, to give birth to very dark ideology. So would you then describe your book as a feminist book? Well, I do. I, I actually do, but uh, in a way that it questions feminism. It pushes ourselves not to accept the idea that women are better, women are always nice women, of motherhood, a woman instinct, and that brings us to be better. I think it is feminist to actually have a very dark character, a dark feminine character. We can be as repugnant as the men. Uh, Diane Ducré, uh, essayist, a researcher, and author uh, of uh, La Dictatrice, sorry, the dictator, the female dictator. Thank you very much indeed for coming on to speak to us at France 24. Thank you.